Hello, I'm Edward Tart, math teacher. I have a math challenge for you with prize available if you want it. This is a square root challenge. It is a follow-up to my earlier square root math video and if you haven't seen it already it may be helpful if you watch it before you watch this one. I am putting a link to that earlier video at the bottom of this one. You will need paper and pencil for this video and of course feel free to pause the video anytime you need to. To lead into the challenge I'm going to go through one square root problem with you using the method that I outlined in that earlier video. We will be finding the square root of 214,369. I have lined up the numerals in groups of two starting at the right. Uh, there are six numerals here. If there were five numerals I would have two here, two here, and the remaining one here. So we begin with the 2, 1 on the left. We're doing square root. Uh, 5 squared is 25. That's too big. We take 4 squared because we will need to subtract. So I put a 4 up here. 4 squared is 16. I subtract. 21 minus 16 is 5. I bring down the next group, 4, 3. Now I need a divisor. To get the divisor, I double what's up here, the 4, that's 8. It's going to be 80-something times some numeral here. It has to be the same numeral here as here. 87 times 7 is bigger than 543, that's too big but 6 will work. 86 times 6. Again, I have to put the same numeral both places. 6 here, 6 here. 86 times 6 is 516. I subtract 27. I bring down the final group 6, 9. I need another divisor. Again, I double what's up here. 46 doubled is 92. This will be 920 something times this. Again, the same numeral here as here. And the numeral that works is 3. 923 times 3 is 2,769. No remainder. And so the square root of 214,369 is 463. And we can easily verify that. 463 times itself does give 214,369. Now the challenge. Here is another square root problem. It is perhaps amazing, but true, that all the missing numerals can be deduced by this single numeral 1. Notice the divisors are not shown here. Uh, they would be out at the left. There is only one correct solution. If you can figure out the solution, uh, preferably I need to know all the numbers, but uh, I would be satisfied by your just saying the square root of blank is blank. If you get the solution, please do not post it as a comment at this video. Instead, go to my profile page, click on send message, and message me your answer. If you are correct on your first try, you will be eligible for a prize. The prize I offer is a CD of selections from my piano archives that I recorded on my piano 
many years ago. If you need help deciding whether you want the prize, you can, at my profile page, access my piano videos and watch one or more of them, uh, choosing from that playlist. If you do want the prize, be sure to include your name and mailing address. Uh, you can either message me from my profile page or you can go to my blog. The address is at my profile page and at my blog you can find my email address and you can email me your answer, including an attachment with this problem worked out in detail if you need to. At any rate, I hope that you have enjoyed this video and that if you work on this challenge, it will give you mental stimulation and pleasure. Thank you for watching this video.